Good design brings people joy. It helps us do things we care about and helps us to connect to people that we care about. Good user interfaces can have a tremendous impact on both individuals' ability to accomplish things and societies as a whole. Graphical user interfaces have put computing on hundreds of millions of desks, enabling us to do things like do create documents and share photos, interact with family, and find information. Conversely, bad design costs time, money, and lives. Medical devices, airplane accidents, and nuclear disasters are just a few domains where bad user interfaces have caused serious injury, even deaths. What gets me is that many of these interface problems could have been easily avoided. Fixing these problems requires following just some basic principles like consistency and feedback. Growing up, I loved John Denver's music, and in 1998, he passed away tragically uh, while flying his airplane. As is common in situations like this, there were a number of factors in play. Usually deaths mean that multiple different bad things happen simultaneously. One you can usually recover from. In John Denver's case, it was a combination of low fuel, a hard to reach handle to switch the gas tanks, and some custom modifications to his plane. So this meant that a bad user interface required John Denver to turn around, and the ergonomics of the cockpit actually contributed to his death. Here's another remarkable example of an emergency telephone where you're supposed to dial 999. However, the telephone, physical telephone itself, only has the numbers 1, 2, and 3. And so there's a post-it note at the bottom. We'll get to that later as a key signal of bad design. Explains how to map the buttons available to the number that you need to dial. Crazy. But it's not just their dramatic reasons that good design can be so transformative. We interact with, you know, hundreds of websites, apps, ticket kiosks, all sorts of physical, digital, and combined uh, information and user experiences. And let's say that the friction caused by bad design uh, causes Americans 10 minutes of delay uh, each day. Now there are 300 million Americans. So just in America alone, that would be three billion person minutes a day or 18 billion person hours per year. This is an enormous amount of time, and if you think about the problems in the world and the opportunities facing society, we could put this 18 billion person hours to much better use. At its best, good design often becomes invisible. You can think of the metaphor of a blind person walking with a cane. When you first try using a cane, it's pretty awkward. But as you gain expertise, you begin to have your sensory system almost experience sensing at the end of the cane. And so you, you, the cane becomes an interface that you work through rather than something that you attend to directly. Designing great user interfaces requires enormous creativity and a lot of hard work. But designing pretty good user interfaces is actually pretty easy if you know some basic methods, techniques, and principles. And in this course, I'll show you how. Through these next sections, you'll be introduced to some of the most common design ideas to make your interactions more enjoyable, productive, and fun.